how will Spinosaurus be portrayed in the upcoming 2025 Walking with Dinosaurs? Hey everyone, Mike here with Prehistoric Magazine. Welcome back to another video. Now, if you're like me, you're really looking forward to Walking with Dinosaurs. I mean, I remember when this thing came out back in 2000. It was my senior year of high school. It was a really monumental time, you know, for me and dinosaurs just thinking about it. And it only furthered my love and interest for this subject. Here we are 25 years later. Pretty cool. 25 years later, and we're coming upon Walking with Dinosaurs 2025. Now, I'll get into this in another video, but I do think that Prehistoric Planet has set the bar ridiculously high. Again, this is a topic for another video. I think they've set the bar tremendously high. Walking with Dinosaurs has a big act to follow. But I'm still really looking forward to it. And if you've seen some of the cover art, you've seen some of the art that's been released, you see that Spinosaurus is going to be making an appearance. Now, the first thing that I ask is how are they going to portray this animal? Over the last 10 years, since 2014, Ibrahim Nazir, you know, this animal has undergone dramatic changes back and forth, you know, from what we thought we know of it, back in the early 2000s to a big giant walking around, running around on two feet, to an animal that swam and hunted that way, to an animal that hunted at the shoreline. So how in the world are they going to portray this animal? Now the cover art back there almost hints at the fact that it could have walked on four limbs, you know, those long arms, those long claws. Perhaps it could have gone down on fours certain times. Now, the beauty about all this is that we are never going to know the true answers. I think I can come to that conclusion. Very hard to come to conclusions on this channel with this subject matter because none of us have ever seen a real dinosaur. So that's why it's so damn important that if you're watching this video, I'd really love to have you take the time to make a comment down below and let me hear your thoughts on this. Now, how do we think the animal is going to be portrayed? For myself, I think that they're going to take the high road, which is they're going to portray it doing a little bit of everything. Meaning, you know, if we get to see it long enough, perhaps we'll see it scavenging on land and taking over a kill. You know, again, it's a massive animal. I do not think Spinosaurus would have passed up a free meal on land. Now, would it have taken down big prey on land? That's another question entirely. I think that would probably come down to desperation. You know, if times were extremely difficult, it would go after that. In times of stress, you know, lions may think about taking down an elephant or attempting that. If there's smaller, easier prey, you know, in business we hear the term low-hanging fruit. If there's some low-hanging fruit, which is much easier to achieve, then you're probably going to go after that. So I think in Walking with Dinosaurs, we're going to see Spinosaurus do a little bit of everything. Again, this depends on how long we see the animal. But I think we're going to see it fishing a little bit. I think we're going to see it stalking in the shallows. I think we're going to see it up on land, potentially eating something that way. Now, will we see it full-on swimming? Will we see it full-on going down a river with its big sail protruding from the water? It's anyone's guess. Obviously, I haven't seen it yet. But again, that's why this comment section is so important. How do you envision BBC and the filmmakers involved with Walking with Dinosaurs how do you envision them portraying this most confusing of animals? I'll be honest, this probably is one of the most confusing and fascinating dinosaurs of all time. Spinosaurus is one of my favorite dinosaurs. I think it always will be, despite the fact that it's gone through this turmoil and just transition into what we're trying to learn about this animal, into what it did in life. Again, we are never going to be able to say with certainty how it lived its life because we can't go back in time. We cannot go back in time to the North African rivers 94 million years ago to see how it was adapted to live in that environment. You know, even if we brought back Spinosaurus, which is completely science fiction, completely fiction on that part, it still wouldn't be in the habitat that it was designed to be in. So even if we did bring back Spinosaurus and we brought it to a zoo and we were able to first build a hybrid and then eventually breed it to the point where it is a full 100% Spinosaurus, if that would even be possible, we're looking at an animal that's not living in its natural North African environment. The environment 
teeming with large fish, extremely wide rivers, and just all around an environment that it was built to hunt in, to thrive in. So enough from me. I'd really love to hear from you down in the comment section down below. How do you envision Spinosaurus being portrayed in the upcoming 2025 Walking with Dinosaurs? Greatly appreciate the support. See you in the next video. Take care.